Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the angle between a line and a plane in a cuboid. So we've got this cuboid here and we're going to find the angle between the line CE. So if I draw the line CE, it's here. So it's this line CE and the plane AEHD. Now remember plane is just a flat surface. So AEHD, that's that rectangle. It's this kind of plane here, this flat surface here. So we want to find that angle. Now, whenever you want to find the angle between a line and the plane, I use what's known as the drop method. So let's say my pen is the line and the plane is this piece of paper. And I want to find the angle between this line and this piece of paper, the plane. Then what I do is I find the angle between the original line and the dropped line. So if I drop my pen onto the paper. So what I do is if I take the two end points of the pen and I drop it onto the paper, this bottom side of the pen is already on the paper, so that doesn't drop anywhere. But this top of the pen will drop to here, won't it? Just directly under it from gravity. So it will therefore be the angle between this original line and that dropped line, so the line where you've dropped the two endpoints. So if we do the same here, we're going to drop the line EC onto this plane here. Well, E is already on the plane, so it's going to stay where it is. And C, under gravity, when you drop onto the plane, it will drop to D, won't it? Because D is directly under C. So it's therefore the angle between this original line and the dropped line. So it's the angle between those two lines. That's the angle I'm going to find. Now, if you think about it, because this is horizontal and that's going up vertically, that will be a right angle. So this triangle here is a right angle triangle, sort of like hovering in 3D. Now we know that if that's 14 here, we've got a length of 14 here. We just need to find out one other side of this right angle triangle, and then we can use kind of Sokotoa stuff, trigonometry, to work out what that angle is. Now we know the 14, how could we work out this side here at the bottom? Well, if you look, sort of like a bird's eye view, and we've got the eight here, and we've got the 10 here, and we're trying to find ED, like that's E and that's D, that's kind of like a view of the bottom. This diagonal here we're trying to find, well, we could just use Pythagoras to find that, couldn't we? We've got these two lengths and we're trying to find the third length, let's just call that X. Then using Pythagoras theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared with the hypotenuse as a C. So eight squared plus 10 squared equals X squared. And if I do eight squared plus 10 squared on my calculator and then square root it, I get 2 root 41. So I'm going to leave x as 2 root 41. And then let's think about this triangle here. I'm going to draw it out separately, just to make it clearer. You've got ED, C. And we've got the 14 here. We've got this bottom length, which we worked out was 2 root 41. And we're trying to find this angle here. I'm just going to call the angle, it doesn't really matter why. So remember how Sokotoa works? We label the sides. Well, this side is opposite the angle, so that's the opposite. This side is adjacent to that angle, so it's adjacent. And remember Sokotoa? This tells us whether we use sine, cos, or tan, depending on what sides. We're involving O and A, the opposite and the adjacent. O and A, ah, oh, that's tan. So we're going to use tan. And then the way it works is we do tan of the angle, so tan of Y, is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite of 14 over the adjacent, which is 2 root 41. And then to get rid of that tan in front of the y, I'm just going to do inverse tan of both sides. So I do that on my calculator, making sure your calculator is in degrees mode. That gives me an angle of 47.5 degrees to one decimal place. And that's the final answer. So make sure when you start this problem, you identify the line and the dropped line turn that into a right angle triangle, and then you're gonna to have to use Pythagoras to find one of the lengths of this triangle first before you then can use Sokotoa.